If you can hear this, I have died in Minecraft. Good day, Dino friends. Today, I have finally died in Minecraft after 199 days in hardcore. That is my personal record. I know it's not that much. I know most people can survive in hardcore super long but for me it's usually five days so i thought i would make a video because usually i take a screenshot after i die like 10 days i rec I'm, i do a quick screenshot of my base and then make a new hardcore world etc but this time because it was my record and my best base so far in hardcore i decided to make a video so what i'm doing is not actually normal hardcore but i'm also doing it so i cannot go that far basically how i'm doing it is i'm only allowed to go as far as what day it is so here you can see right now it's day 201 right that means i'm only allowed to go to if you look at the coordinates i'm only allowed to go to any coordinate that is not higher than 201 for those who don't know if you start minecraft it's not actually day one it's actually day zero so that means when you play this game mode that i'm playing you start on day zero and you're only allowed to go as far as the coordinates zero 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 or actually zero 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 minus zero minus zero zero and minus zero minus zero did I say that right? I don't know if I said that right. But when you start on day one, you're only allowed to go in four blocks. So I started in the middle of like the hills in the snow and I started to sort of dig down in the four blocks. I was only allowed to go four blocks in hardcore mode, trying to survive. And eventually I was going allowed to go a little farther. And then the next day I was allowed to go one block farther, etc. Eventually it became quite a large hole. And here it is. Okay, here's the base. It became quite a large hole. I eventually stopped uh, digging from the top. So I left a little bit over it, which I think looks pretty cool. And it became this massive thing. This right here is the center, I think. Yes, as you can see the coordinates. This is the center of the map. This is where I started here in the middle of the forest. Um... And yeah, I don't know how I survived 200 days because usually I'm pretty bad at hardcore and I die pretty quickly. But this time I didn't and even I was confused and I didn't know what to do. So I just started just doing more stuff and just started, I just like early game stuff, you know? So I started making little farms, collecting some animals. I also started making some rooms around here, but they weren't nearly finished. As you can see, the only room that I was really using was this one where I just put all my stuff and where I had my beds. Uh, I wasn't really using the rooms that much yet. I was going to make them look really cool, but I didn't. Usually I don't get this far where I get to like design and build everything. So that was pretty interesting and I finally after almost 200 days I died because I had found a zombie spawner so I decided to make the zombie spawner I decided to make the zombie spawner into like an automatic like loot thingy so behind this is a zombie spawner oh hello Hello! Okay, it's not loading the zombie spawner. Just imagine that here is a dark room with water at the bottom and one zombie spawner. So the zombies fall down and they sort of float this way, right? So they float here and I was standing here and this is how I died. Of course, dumb. Actually, pretty much every way you can die is dumb. It was either going to be falling or something or a spider or a creeper or something, you know? It was going to be dumb either way. But yeah. I was standing here and I was just using my sword, killing them. And to make it a little bit faster, I had a bucket of lava. Yeah, you can already see it coming. I had a bucket of lava and I would quickly put the lava in this block right here, just above the sign and then quickly take it away so that all the zombies would be on fire. And I was just sort of doing this while I was watching YouTube at the other screen. And then I set myself on fire with the lava, obviously. And I didn't have water with me. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And I didn't even realize because I was watching a video. I didn't even realize until I was like almost dead. So I was like, no, wait, I didn't have any. I didn't have any food with me. So I died, <laughs> but I made it to day 199. 
So not day 200 yet. So I guess my goal, next goal will be with the next world to make it to day 199. Oh, I have to show you the caves though. I have to show you. This is another reason why it's actually impressive that I survived this long. If you know how bad I am at Minecraft. So basically when I started going down, I figured out that there's like a massive cave down here. It is actually insane. Like, I explored so much, and every time I could only go a few blocks farther, right? Because I'm only allowed to go as far as the co as the day that it is. So on day 10, I'm only allowed to go 10 blocks far, and I wouldn't- and I would see, like, iron. And I cannot mine it because I cannot go there yet, you know? That's really the fun part. So if anyone hasn't ever heard of this idea before, I'm probably not the first to think of it, but it's a really fun idea. If you've never tried it, really try it. It's super fun. If you have Minecraft, if you like Minecraft... Just go in, make a hardcore world. I co always call it block a day <laughs> because every day I can go one block farther in every direction. So this is what I call Minecraft block a day. And then eventually I would explore here and there was so much to explore. But every time I went into a tunnel, I had to be careful that I wasn't allowed to go super far. And here I almost died like a hundred times. I almost died. I mean, come on, look at this. Do you know how bad I am at Minecraft? There, it is, it's really a miracle that I didn't die faster. And then I would go all the way down. I think I used, yes, these vines to go all the way down. And then there was water, which I also used. And then boom, you have even more mines. And some poisonous spiders, which I died, almost died to at least 10 times. They, I, I don't like the poisonous spiders, okay? I don't like them. Anyway, this is just supposed to be a short video, just... Maybe more for myself than for you guys, just so I can look at it back later and be like, Oh, I remember that time I survived really long. But who knows, maybe next time I survive, I'll survive 200 days or 300 days. Who knows? I don't know. I always end up dying to dumb things, but every time I learn a little bit. So this time I have learned every time I have a bucket of lava with me, probably also bring a bucket of water with me and also if my food runs out get new food first priority that's what i've learned from this death and yeah so yeah that's really is that, is that music from minecraft I don't know, I don't usually play with music, so I don't know. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to show. And I would really want, I wanted to tell you guys to try this if you've never tried it. Maybe some of you have already tried it, but if you've never tried it, it's so much fun. Make a hardcore world and see how long you're allowed to, how long you can survive. You're only allowed to go as far as what day it is. I do have a few extra rules that I use sometimes. For instance, there's a pretty high chance that the zero point of the world could be in the ocean. In which case I usually, it depends on the situation. Sometimes I feel like being more hard on myself and sometimes I feel like giving myself a break. But if I'm being hard on myself, I'm just telling myself, you have to just keep swimming. Day one, you just spent the whole day swimming. Um, and I try to dive down to get dirt and then sort of build a tower of dirt underwater. It can be really hard. Sometimes it's not possible just because it's too deep. Um, but sometimes I give myself a break, which means that I'm always allowed to have at least one block of dirt and one sapling from whatever the nearest source is before getting to the zero zero point. Sometimes I do that, especially when trees are really far away. It can be a real pain to just, if like the closest tree is like a uh, hundred blocks away, that means you have to wait a hundred days without having any wood. Um, yeah, that's really not fun, trust me. So yeah, you can just decide for yourself what rules you use. Anyway, I just wanted to make a short video about this. Um, I really want to put out a video every time I'm not streaming. For those who don't know, I do stream on Twitch, on twitch.tv slash buildasaurus. Uh, every day except for Mondays and Thursdays. So that's why on Mondays and Thursdays I'm trying my best to get a video out almost every Monday and Thursday. So that way every day we'll have a stream or a video. Um, if you want to join uh, on the streams, come join. And yeah, that's why I'm making this video just so I have a video for the Monday. But I also actually have a video tomorrow because tomorrow is international talk like a pirate day it's like my favorite holiday and tomorrow i cannot stream because of reasons so tomorrow i'm actually doing a special 
pirate video for build a boat for treasure in Roblox. So if you want to see that, keep a lookout for that. Um, apart from that, I don't. I have a lot of ideas for videos. I don't want to talk about this for too long. Sorry, but. I do have a lot of videos for ideas, but they're all like projects, like videos that take a little bit longer. And I do want to just get some more videos out there. So I'm actually still on the lookout for a series, like just a game that I can play and I can just quickly without too much editing, get a bunch of episodes out there. And that will allow me some time in between to work on the longer videos, if that makes sense. So. If you are listening to this, it's probably pretty rare. The channel is pretty dead by now. I'm trying to revive it. But if you're listening right now, you're one of the few people who are still listening. Which means leave a comment and tell me what you would like to see as a series on YouTube. So in between the more project videos, I would do like a video series. Let me know which what I should do as a series could be like a Roblox game could be like a tycoon or a building game could be Minecraft whatever you would like to see let me know uh she would say top comment wins okay top comment wins guys make the top comment into uh a game that you want me to make a series about or if it's not a game just whatever I can make a video series about all right I think that's the end see you guys tomorrow with another video okay and See you in the streams. Twitch.tv slash Buildasaurus. See you there. Bye, friends. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.